I should really stop playing on weekends and do something else with my time like laundry or ironing because it's probably um, a lot more rewarding than some of the games that we get over the weekend. But we did pick up um, a third Kraken in the Hawk. Um, I'm grinding this ship so there may be a few more games to come of it but we're straight into the thick of battle with the Ganais now out in front of us and we are going to pile on him and um, two destroyers in this game this one is double speed and I'll try to keep up with what's going on on the screen but um, there's an Ochikov off to our right our destroyers are pushing the caps but our Tashkent across there on air cap is not going to last very long I get lucky and pick up first blood but there's a lot of torpedoes out there the fact that the red cap is sorry the fact that sea cap has turned red means that there's a destroyer out there and that obviously means lots of torpedoes but the Ochikov fires his radar up but not quite soon enough but we're going to put some pressure onto that fan task and we are going to push in towards this cap we've managed to secure b cap we've lost the destroyer on a cap there's one battleship which i think is a brandenburg charging straight into a cap but his support is parked behind an island on there and uh, yeah one ship against potentially three on that cap is not going to work this hawk out there is slapping on me we've already missed a salvo at that cruiser but the second one doesn't miss and now we've got the zeton we're having to show a little bit of skirt here to this zeton as we put in a turn because we don't want to be broadside in that cap to the hawk that is there pushing in on to charlie and we also know obviously that there is a destroyer out there as well so we're going to put some pressure onto that hawk and then we're going to try and alleviate some of the pressure that this Zetan may be trying to put onto the Ochikov but we just got to wait for the guns to be able to clear those islands and see what angle he's at and we are going to start slapping on him now I know that he's got very very long range secondaries that's to be expected with the uh, German battleship slash battle cruiser line but we're going to keep piling on going for the superstructure chipping away at those hit points the Ochikov is absolutely piling onto him too now you may think this is a kill snipe but this guy damage controls literally at the last second so it's lucky that I did fire that salvo either myself or the Ochikov could have had that one but we are just coming up on six minutes into the game we're on three kills we've completely lost a cap red team had flipped B but our Edinburgh and New Orleans are pushing Pushing back into that we have no destroyers red team have two it is four ships players four so we are going to push into this capture point with the Ochkov knowing that he's got radar I think he's got sonar as well so that should potentially give us some warning of torpedoes heading in our direction but a quick look at the team list and I see that there is a Missouri and a Bismarck out there on the other side of the map and that is not something that I'm looking forward to running into they are going to make our life very very difficult but check this New Orleans and the Edinburgh go out to the destroyer after having taken care of the fantastic but it was two light cruisers pushing against two pretty much full health battleships radars up there from the Ochikov we put some shots out towards the Jaeger as I said every little helps if you can get shots onto a destroyer but the radar is down and the Ochikov is now at the mercy of the destroyer now i did think that perhaps the ochikov could run that guy down and keep him away from us i could try and defend the cap but the ochikov is going to stick with me um was it a good decision what is a bad decision um well we don't know but a bad decision was sailing out broadside here to a bismarck and a missouri but i'm going to sail out i'm going to kite away i'm going to angle as best as i can 
the hawk has this 46 percent fire chance so i'm thinking even though these guys have got a lot of hit points between them we can try and whittle those down with some fires the bismarck has just damage controlled we can try and keep the cap reset the ochikov is chiming in as well and we put another salvo onto the bismarck Thankfully, he pulls in behind the island and that's going to save me from his secondaries. We've got AP loaded again and I keep forgetting that this ship has torpedoes. But you do have to give up a lot of broadside for it and I didn't want to do that with the Missouri um, with that Bismarck potentially coming around the other corner. Now we've switched back to HE because the Missouri is burning. If we can add another fire to that, then that will help him disappear a little bit quicker. I do want to get turned around and go into these guys, but I don't want to hard turn into two battleships and two broadsides. But there's the cap reset. There's the Bismarck backing up again. We lose sight of both ships because they haven't fired their guns. Bismarck is spotted again by the Ochikov and we are going to turn now that we've dropped detection and gone dark and we're going to get our bow in and see if we can help this Ochikov get rid of the Bismarck full salvo out there he we land some hits on the bismarck we don't get a fire there's the jaeger and i'm looking thinking who do i shoot at who do i shoot at is this where i made a mistake because the jaeger disappears again he was only there momentarily high caliber just under 130,000. missouri is going to be next we're just spamming the tops there now missouri turns in towards us i think he's looking to get a salvo on no fire again Ochikov is still raining but red team have the points we've got to kill the Missouri and the Jaeger to win this one because there isn't enough time on points to win this one but that is Kraken I think it's number 166 in the order that I got them 138 000 damage high caliber dev strike first blood and the Kraken with five kills but the Jaeger is going to do the right thing. I thought he might greedy, get greedy and try and come running in towards us. I thought perhaps the Ochikov might be running fully packed and have a third radar available. Um, but the game is going to end there. He ran at the right time. Unlucky for blue team. We didn't get the win on that one, but we did get um, the second of third Krakens that I've had on this ship over the weekend. I have been playing it a lot trying to finish that grind. But the stats show it all. Ochikov would have had more than 3,000 base XP. Um, I had a couple of cheap kills there, potentially finishing things off. But we um, both pick up a high caliber, so we certainly did our work. Our Tashkent there at the bottom on 224 base XP. Not going to say any names, but um, I know he didn't get the support that he potentially should have had on that capture point. But let me know what you think of that one. Um, leave me something in the comments. Smash the like button. Tell your friends about the channel and get them to come along and subscribe too. I'd like to make 1500 this year. That would be nice, as always. Until next time. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.